got my Las Vegas Hard Rock shirt. stop at different places that we want to try and get like something small and split it so we can eat more so we got the three chicken finger basket with some fries so we're gonna split all that so yeah i do definitely want to try a piece of pizza from somewhere around here i know that they we have a taco bell at home but i kind of want to go to the taco bell that they have here because they serve alcohol and i just think that's freaking cool all right what do you think it's really good it's really yeah. She really likes the cane sauce. She said it oh. tastes like basket sauce, and I actually like it. It's pretty decent. I tried the chicken without the sauce, just plain by itself, and it's nice and juicy. You don't even have to have sauce with it, ketchup, and the cane sauce. It's really good. And the fries, I have enough salt on it already, and they never have that for me, so that's fantastic. It's good now. It does. Our down, what is this? close to Fremont Street. We're in Old Vegas at the moment. We're looking for Coolsville. We want to get tattoos or $5 tattoos and it opens at once. We have about 20 minutes. Then we're going to go in all these shopping centers that are out here. We were chickens. We did not get on top because, I mean, it's warmer now, but it was freezing earlier. Oh, we're in the art district. So you get tattoos from Coolsville in a second. There's Coolsville right there. Is it good? Oh, <laughs> We got good pie pizza. We really, really wanted to try Vegas pizza. And now we are walking to the Strat around there. And we're going to get on the next bus. And we're going to ride it all the way to the last stop, which is the Vegas sign. And we're going to get out and take a picture. We made it to the Strat. The sun is blinding me. Always a casino. the party bus was a blast it was really informative and we got to see some really cool stuff it was a lot better on the top level than it was the bottom you could see a lot more things it was warmer in the afternoon so we went up there when we got back on the bus around three o'clock after we got our ten dollar coosville matching tattoos we got a plane to commemorate our travels that we've been doing this year and we got off at the last stop around four and then we went into the m m store which is four stories we got a couple of things there and shopping on clearance basically the entire time we've been here based every single attraction or store we've gone into we've gone straight to the clearance racks and we have purchased one thing off of them and then we went into the coca-cola store i wanted to see that because i was like the coca-cola museum is in atlanta like i didn't even know there was one here and it's just a store it's a coca-cola store there and it has a tasting room it's definitely nowhere near as extravagant or big as Atlanta, obviously. No museum is just a store, and then you get to taste different flavors of Coke and not a lot of flavors. So we went in there, got a few things, and then we went to Walgreens to grab stuff, care for our tattoos. Cassie got a piercing, etc. So, and we went into and looked around Sugar Factory, and then into this discount store that's in that same like 
mall area that's attached to Planet Hollywood. So we went there and we got discounted. Like I got a hat and a t-shirt for nine bucks and we both got $5 tote bags. And then we came back to the hotel. We just finished getting ready. We're literally about to walk out the door to go to the viewing deck for Paris. And then we have a 6.30 dinner reservation at Alexa's and it is currently 5.42. So that's great. We are running behind on time like fast the lights oh they're turning the lights on this place is beautiful oh my god and we're headed there that's so cool It's not a parasite. It's even smaller than the um, yeah. uh, sky wheels. So you guys can say that you watch it. It's been closed, but there's a big snow gauge. Uh, 360 feet above Las Vegas. The Bellagio Shell Crossing should be every half an hour, uh, 15 minutes after 7 or 8 o'clock. Oh. That's the Bellagio. And those are the fountains. We're hoping to see the um, show. But I don't know if we're going to be able to because we can't stay up here for 30 minutes because we have a dinner to go to. There's the flamingo. It's so pretty up here when all the lights turn on. The Venetian. There's the sphere. I wish there wasn't a steel cage, but I understand why. Oh, we have holes for pictures. That's cool. where we're staying, Planet Hollywood. We are not on this side of the building, no. We are on that side because we can see that from our window. We're supposed to have a view, but the F1 stands have ruined that for me. Leave my F1 stands alone. <laughs> we wound up staying at the top of the viewing deck for over 30 minutes waiting on the Bellagio water show to start. Well, but we could have come down here and watched it from dinner instead of waiting up there in the freezing cold wind. But because of these stands, we can't see it from here, so we had to do it up the stairs. And we were late for a reservation about 10 minutes, but they hold it for 15, so that was nice so we could actually see the show, because it ended as soon as we got up there, so we had to wait another 30 minutes for it to start, because it's every 30 minutes from three to seven, and then from eight to midnight, it's every 15. We are currently at Alexa's for dinner, and we ordered spinach dip for an appetizer. We are splitting a steak with some mashed potatoes and some pea pods or something, which I'm not going to eat, not only peas, and a Caesar salad for dinner. We're going to split that. We learned on this trip that splitting food is the cheapest way, and it's also, we actually eat it instead of wasting the food. So, pro tip. We devoured that spinach dip. We ran out of chips. See you guys. That's all of the water show that we can see. Barely any of it. It's sad. <laughs>
to go this is Cassie's mess 1:52 in the morning and we have to get up at like 3 34 to catch our 6 a.m. flight <laughs> I'm done so I'm about to lay down and get an hour of sleep because that's literally all I'm gonna get and um, Cassie's gonna be up until we leave probably because she has a lot to has a lot of books and pre-orders that she She's coming home with, and I'm really scared. She's not gonna have enough luggage to pack it all in, and we our our flight leaves at 6 a.m. but boards at like five something, and I'm terrified because it's gonna be way too early in the morning for any stores to be open for her to get another bag to put everything in. There's no post offices and no FedEx that should be able to ship this stuff. So I'm like, I don't know what we're gonna do with it, but hopefully it works out. Or they'll let her use like a tote bag or something that she got because we got tons of those. And that in like the gate check bag, maybe because she has a zipper bag, which maybe she can check that. And she can have another uh, a tote bag as a personal item and a carry on. So maybe. These are all of her books. You're in my way. I'm sorry. That's how many books she has to pack in the bags that she brought. No, we have tons of totes, and we figured it out because we got, she has two zipper bags, one that she brought and one that she bought here, and I were hoping that she can use the bigger, the bigger black zipper bag that she brought from home to check and use the other zipper bag that she bought to use as her carry-on. That's what we think is what we're, or rather she's going to do because I'm staying in bed. Okay, so this... But it's atrocious. Just a little bit. This hurts so bad. I'm in a lot of pain. I don't know how we're gonna get any of this in the airport. We have no help. Cassie's suitcase fucking sucks. Her wheels suck. I don't know how we're gonna do this. <laughs>
update. Keep going. Checked our bags. We had to check six bags. So literally everything that has zipper. Some other bag and my other bag that I got from Amazon that I use is like my med, my uh, hospital bag that has zippers and clean clothes. We had to check all of them. So we had to check my two bags and Cassie's two carry-on bags that she brought with her. And we have to take on the totes that she got from the authors that are open as our carry-on. So if it wasn't for the sweetest fucking lady, we would never have fucking gotten through that. I owe everything to her because we had no idea what we were doing. Thank God. We are headed to gate D right now. Thankfully, this airport is actually pretty easy to navigate even though it is huge and the people here are very nice and sweet and are very helpful and I'm very grateful for it. Tote bags are still atrociously heavy though, which is why I'm limping. I gotta get through this. freaking lot to catch you guys up on so it is 7 15 and i am just pulling out of my parents neighborhood and i'm heading to my house which is going to take me about 25 to 30 minutes to get to depending on freaking traffic and i'm exhausted i have slept a total of probably about an hour today 30 minutes at the hotel this morning before we left and then 30 minutes 20 30 minutes in the car on the way home from columbia so first thing first when you saw me this morning when i put that video clip in about we had no idea how we were going to get all this stuff to the airport well we the first order we ubered got there saw us and said oh no 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 no, that's not going to fit and left so we had to order an uber, uber. thankfully vegas has Ubers galore, and there's another one within the next five minutes from you, so that was pretty sweet. But I kept, I was so scared that we were gonna miss our flight, and I continued to say that while we were at the airport. But thankfully, there was the sweetest woman in the entire world that if it wasn't for her, I don't know how we would have made it. And then we got in line to wear our bags and get them taken to put on the plane, and they rerouted us to another line because it was over the weight limit. Cassie's bag. Her suitcase was the only one over the weight limit and there was a $200 fine, but we took four books out and sporadically put it in the other bags and it went down to a hundred. It was like 72 pounds or something like that. We were going through TSA and I started to feel sick again. I felt nauseous and kind of sick all freaking morning and I really think it's just from exhaustion. My stomach's been hurting, cramping, my entire body is sore. My, my shoulders are in so much pain. Like every, it was an experience. Make it on her plane, literally, they were boarding five and we were section nine because we didn't pick our seats because we were trying to do the cheapest option as possible so we got in then and then our connecting flight we sat there for an hour it was actually the only flight that we had within the four that we took sit don't have time we had an hour which actually was not great because it made us even more tired sitting there waiting for us to get on this plane we landed in columbia went to go get our bags come to find out they had taken my bag off of the plane my suitcase not any of my carry-ons with the books on it, but my suitcase that has everyone's souvenirs, all of my clothes, everything that, you know, I use for day-to-day -day life, they decided to take that bag off instead of the bags that have books in it that I don't need for three to four days. Cassidy, which me and my family all think it's because of Cassidy's book. So we really think that um, mine and four other people's bags got taken off that plane because of her books. I'm not kidding because it was a small flight. It was just a 20 minute flight from Charlotte to Columbia too. So that happened. I had a mini meltdown at the airport. I am okay now, but I'm so, I was so stressed out. I was hurting all over. I had no sleep. I was upset because I didn't have it. I was scared that I wasn't gonna be able to have my bag for four days, but we figured it out. I am so excited to finally be heading home. I'm ending my Las Vegas vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Coming to Las Vegas with me for the very first time. We went there for the Love in Vegas book convention. It was a ton of fun. I absolutely loved it. I don't have a lot of footage of that because it was crazy busy. There were so many people and that day, like Saturday, flew by so fucking fast. Like one minute it was one o'clock and the next it was six and they were shutting down. A couple days it was jam packed full of fun and those days felt like they would never end and I'm actually kind of grateful for that. Probably because of the time change, but it was just amazing experience and I'm so happy, happy that I finally got to travel there and be 
able to do some things that I've always wanted to do. So I will see you guys in my next one. Make sure to check out my read with me's that I will link below and I'm putting that in this video because of the Love in Vegas book convention that we went to. So the uh, read with me's that I did were for one of the authors that were there and I was going there to meet them specifically for myself, her, and one other author are my top two favorites out of the people that were there. Those are the two that I went to, really wanted to meet. Um, so definitely go check those out for sure. So see you guys in the next one. Bye!